Welcome to the Darling Dream Show. We have Brianna with Crafty Moves. Stay tuned for the interview. Welcome to the Darling Dream Show. We have Brianna with Crafty Moves. <laughs> Welcome, Brianna. How are you? Hi, thank you. So tell me a little bit about your crafty business. Oh my goodness, where to start? Um, I started when I was really young and I just started making little things little by little to the point where like I enjoyed it so much on just making like just the creativity mind like there's so much you can do when yeah. you're like a crafter and everything so it's like what do I do and then you just get all kinds of ideas and then you just keep making things and make things and then sooner or later you make it into a little business yes yeah. what first item did you get started when you first began this well a long time ago I remember back then uh, duct tape wallets were very popular in my day and I would just make those like constantly and like moved on to after the duct tape wallets I made shirts and then I'll be like that the girl in school who always sells like candy and like <laughs> chips at school and everything I had I literally had my own uh, PE locker into a little store and I just started make like just making sales just like selling chips candy gum sodas and like people just go to me and everything and then I was still doing little crafts here and there and then baking that too just still in that school and then later on, I started making jewelry, and things just went. I just did all kinds of stuff after that. <laughs> a locker into your own little business. Yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. <laughs> I mean, that's little, little entrepreneur thinking there. Yeah, like, it was pretty cool because I had really awesome teachers, so they wouldn't mind. They just said, just don't sell during classes, like, <laughs> before we get started and everything. Um, and then, like, like I said, in my locker room and everything, yeah. That was nice of them. Yeah, it was. So tell me about yourself here. Well, right here, I have my booth set up here at Visalia Champs Car Wash. And right here, my little booth is with my sports necklaces I make. So it could be any team. And then I got into laser engraving as well. I recently got it like maybe four months ago. And little by little, just making all kinds of things. But right here, I just have my sports signs and my sports jewelry. And I also do personalized photo jewelry as well. How did you get started with the photo? Jewelry. Well, the photo jewelry, <laughs> well, that's when I started doing it with the sports jewelry and I would just put them in there. I was like, you know what? I need to do photos because that's also great for gifts. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I just got to start with that and yeah. Now, is your stuff affordable? Yes, it's very affordable. I try to make things very affordable because, you know, it's just like the stuff that I have is just something you want to enjoy and like I said, easy to afford and everything like that. Why not? Hey. <laughs> oh, wow. So, um, show me one of your items. Yeah, your... sure. So, we'll do with my my laser engraved sports signs. So, these right here. And it could be any team as well. I have my own laser. And then I do add the soft tooth in the back so you can hang on your wall right here. And, yeah, I like it. Oh, that's mm -hmm. really nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. To make, to manufacture this, to do it, how does it cost? Um, maybe like three dollars, maybe around there to put it together and everything. Oh, yeah. okay, that's that's, so. good. that's good. Yeah, and then you turn around and you make a little profit. Yeah, a little ten dollars right there. So that's uh, still affordable. Is that, is that how much you tell us? It is ten dollars. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, exactly. That's really good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see your jewelry. Yeah, for sure. The show our viewers the jewelry. Yeah, and then like right here, I have the Las Vegas Raiders necklaces right here. Mm -hmm. So. I had to update it because now it's Las Vegas and not Oakland anymore. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is very true. They, they relocated their um, city, I believe, right? Yes, in Vegas, yeah. Las Vegas. So it's no longer Oakland. It's called Las Vegas. Las Vegas Raiders, yeah. Huh. yeah. Oops. <laughs> but, yeah, so those are the necklaces right here. Like I said, it's any sports That's team it. I can do right here. Oh, that is not that is cute. that is nice yeah. really cute because like these are the necklaces but i do keychains you can also put in your rear mirror in your vehicle necklaces and i also do bracelets as well oh yeah you can hang it inside the rear in your car yes in your vehicle yes yes not just so. around the neck yeah exactly <laughs> yeah awesome yeah that's good and then you also you don't have any pictures here uh, here but you have them on the wall right so. yeah my wall like too so it could be keychains the rear mirror mm -hmm. necklaces and bracelets and how do you like doing this I love doing it. Like I have a lot of time on my hands. This is basically my job right here. Yeah. This is literally my full time job. Mm, wow. Right here. Oh. And what days are you guys here? We are here Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at Visalia Champs Car Wash, and it's like ten to like five, I believe. Uh, was there any challenges along the way? Um, 
kind of just trying to tweak things around when you experiment on when you do certain crafts and then there's a lot of like mistakes you only have to keep doing over and over but once you get the hang of it you don't have to worry about it anymore oh yeah wow when did you first begin crafting like i said when i was really young like what year was that oh my goodness um probably maybe like 2006 2007 around there oh wow yeah very okay. very young yeah, yeah. just mm. started little young and I'm like the only like crafter in my family basically. Oh yeah? So you can have somebody come place the order and they'll just they, you make one for them? Yes, yeah, so I do also place orders. Um at the moment my website is on like it's on maintenance because we're still have to do some tweaks on the website and then also put more of my products on there. Um but you can find me on Facebook or Instagram. My viewers how to get a hold of you. Well if they want to place an order. Yeah, if you want to place an order, like I said, you can find me on Facebook at Crafty Move and Instagram at Crafty underscore move. And yeah, you can place an order anytime for sure. And I do shipping as well. Well, thank you, Brianna, for sharing your story with me, my viewers. Yeah, well, thank you for having me. To the next time, thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.